feel like you need a few tips to get you through your managing, CEOing, founding day, well, you've come to the right place. This is Live Bossy, a YouTube channel dedicated to helping you make your business more profitable and help you get yours. So I'm Morgan Slumberger, and today we're going to talk about goal setting. So part of what I'm here to talk about is how we can optimize this process together. Um, and I will say, I do feel like a hypocrite because for me, sometimes I have good years where there are years where I'm really on and winning at my goal setting where I have short-term and long-term goals and my short-term goals are feeding into my long-term goals and I can just feel that level of success coming my way and focus. But then I have years where I couldn't tell you if my shirt is clean or dirty or I have you know kids' handprints all over everything that I own um, and I am not focused on goal setting. So I feel like this episode today will help both you hopefully and me get back to the basics and hear a little bit more about what researchers are saying across the country for how we should optimize our goal setting. How is your life looking, your whole life? If you think about friends, family, work, health, um, spirituality, how is your whole life looking? And maybe you might even grade it on a one to five point scale. Consider maybe where you are, where you might be swaying right now, and where you might have a little bit of room for improvement as far as what you might have neglected. Um, if you have some ideas that are popping into your mind right now, great. So think about the categories that I just listed, okay? And consider three different pieces to this. Set an intention around that category that might have been neglected. What's the intention that you might want to make a change with? What is the outcome that you'd like to see with that specific category? And then lastly, what is the process to get to that outcome? That's a very important step and you should think about it in terms of ways you can measure it. And this process also would include not only personally but professionally, um, if you own a business, you know, are there specific measurable outcomes that you want to see happen and what are the processes of getting there? Step three, make it challenging. So make these goals challenging. Uh, Harvard researchers have recently suggested that the idea of making goals attainable is okay, but really what you wanna do is make it challenging, stimulate that piece of your brain. So there are currently biases, negative biases that affect us if we try to maintain the status quo. So if you're making a goal that just says like, keep on doing what you're doing, you may have some negative bias that comes in and that affects how you achieve that goal. But if you try and upgrade and improve on like last year's numbers, or if you try and upgrade and improve your workout routine, um, you might see a little more success with that goal because your brain is more interested in improving than maintaining the status quo. Step four, make sure your goals are fast, not smart. So I'm sure all of us, if we raised our hands, have had a SMART goal setting session at somewhere along the line. SMART goal setting stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Yes, I got it! <laughs> so researchers at MIT suggest that SMART goal setting may not be the way to go anymore, that we should consider fast goal setting. FAST stands for frequently discussed, ambitious, specific milestones or metrics, and transparent to the overall organization. Now, if you're setting personal goals, that transparency piece may not be as important, but if you're CEOing a company or you're founding a company, that's extremely important. So the article that I read really talks about engaging all of the organization. So if you're thinking from a CEO standpoint, less a personal goal setting standpoint, you want all of those communications to be frequent. Um, you want to discuss those goals often, uh, but you also want to be very transparent um, and specific. So just 
thinking about all of those pieces, fast goal setting. And most of that can be, can be applied personally. Um, and you do want to still share your goals. Sharing your goals can help that level of success come more realistically because other people may hold you accountable to what it is that you're goal setting. And personally, just as an aside, I do have a goals group that I meet with, although I've lapsed in the last two years since the birth of my daughter, but I have a goal setting group that I meet with um, quarterly and we go through our total life goals, like our long-term vision of our lives, and then specific individual goals. And we discuss them as a group. And for me, it's been a really powerful group. And they're not even my most closest friends, they're colleagues and other people I've met through leadership organizations. And it's been paramount to my level of achievement um, and success, whatever that means. Step five, write it down. That might be one of the most imperative pieces of goal setting. When you write things down, there's something that tricks trips up in your brain and it sets off this new system. Um, it becomes more realistic. And what researchers at Cornell have said is it creates something called the endowment effect. The endowment effect means we take ownership of what it is that we are setting out to do and we're more likely to succeed because of it. And one way to take ownership over your goals is writing it down. So write it on paper, write it on a post-it, put it in expo marker on your mirror, whatever it may be. Um, I have a goal setting notebook that I tend to write down my goals in. There are also lots of planners on the market that incorporate goal setting into your daily life. So um, two that I can think of off the top of my head are passion planners. Also sideline sisters have an success system as well. So those are two planners I can think of, paper planners that you can incorporate. My world is so digital that now I have a specific notebook where I write it down and try and trip that part of my brain. And then I revisit that notebook quarterly when I'm in a good year. Those are my five steps to setting goals that I hope you've learned something new from. And I encourage you to let us know any extra tips and tricks that you're using to set your goals. Please comment in the comments section and we'll try and get back to you with our thoughts and feelings. But we'd really be curious, what have you got to teach us on goal setting? I hope this helps you both per personally and professionally to attain and achieve more in your life. Cassie and Morgan here. Thanks for tuning in to Bossy. We are really excited and hope that you enjoyed the video that you saw. If so, subscribe to our channel. Also, we offer awesome retreats for women and female founders who are looking to expand and grow their business. Also, thank you to our partners C3 Work Lounge at Old Sawmill District. C3 Work Lounge is an entrepreneurial environment that allows creativity, connectivity, and collaboration.